Good morning, I'm at the airport. I am actually headed home from San Diego. I flew in on Saturday morning to run the 10K, the hot chocolate 10K that I do every year. Actually, I do the 5K normally, and this time I did the 10K, and it is now Monday morning, bright and early, just before 7 a.m., and I am headed home. So I thought that I would film uh, what I eat in a day today and share with you guys what I eat while traveling, and then I'll be home early this morning, right about 10 a.m., so I'll share with you the rest of my food throughout the day today. So I'm starting with a protein coffee. We actually stopped at this place called Buzz Coffee. It's so good. We don't have it in Arizona. The coffee's incredible. So I did my four shots of espresso and my Fair Life protein shake to get in that 30 grams of protein in the morning. And I'm finishing this up before I go through security here at the airport. I'm not sure what, it, what I'm going to do for breakfast. This usually tides me over for a little while. I have lots to do when I get home. I'm always behind when I travel. So I'm looking forward to getting home, seeing Lola, seeing Palmer. Troy's actually headed out today with his dad for a little bit. So we're gonna spend the day just unpacking catching up on work so we're starting off with our protein coffee officially home. It is 10 29. Troy said he was leaving about 11 15. So I'm hoping to make it home before he leaves to go run to go out with his dad. I am exhausted. I'm tired. Travel always makes me tired. I mean, I know that I was extremely active the two days that I was in San Diego, but I'm tired. I just drank the last little bit of water that I had. Part of me wants to stop for coffee, but then part of me doesn't because I want to make it home before Troy leaves. But man, I'm tired. I'm really tired. So much fun. We did so many amazing things. When I got into San Diego on Saturday morning, I came in right about 8 a.m. and Rachel had plans to work out with her personal trainer that day about 11. So she took me to get coffee and donuts at her favorite coffee and donut place. And then she dropped me off at Torrey Pines, which is one of my favorite places to hike in San Diego. And I was there a little over two hours between the time that it took her to go to her personal trainer, do her workout and come and pick me up. But it was absolutely beautiful out. I mean, the weather was perfection. I hiked two separate hikes at Torrey Pines and then I headed down to the beach and just hung out at the beach for about an hour or so before Rachel came to pick me up. And then from there, we headed back to her house and got ready changed our clothes, went down, went to downtown San Diego to pick up our packets for race day. That was really fun to go grab our packets. And we met my friend, Wendy, who lives outside of LA. She's one of my subscribers. She's in my Facebook group. We met up with her and then we picked up our packets for the race. And then we headed to Lululemon, Aloe and Athleta. We thought that it would be kind of fun to pick up to potential just to do a little shopping before we went to Eureka for dinner. Eureka is one of my favorite places in San Diego for dinner. I did get this cute little jacket from Lululemon and then I did pick up a pair of running shorts or exercise shorts that were on clearance. It was just a really good evening. We did head to bed pretty early because we had to get up really early on Sunday for the run. And then of course the time change happened on Sunday as well. So we knew that we wanted to get to bed early because we had to get up early to head down to the race. We made it down to the race right before 7 a.m. The 5K started at 7 a.m. Everybody in our group did the 5K with the exception of Rachel and I. So we wanted just to make sure that we got there in time to drop them off for the 5K. Rachel and I did the 10K. I'm so proud of us. It was our first 10K. We killed it. 
we killed the 10K. I actually want to only do the 10K moving forward because it was so much fun. So we finished the 10K and then we went and had breakfast at this cute little breakfast place near Rachel and Kelly's house. I had bacon and eggs and half of a biscuit. And then we went ahead, then we headed to this place called Buzz coffee which is newer to the San Diego area they had really really good coffee I had a delicious lavender iced coffee before we headed to Old Town San Diego and in Old Town San Diego we did some shopping we just looked around it's it has a lot of Mexican heritage, so it was really interesting. And then we decided to take the free tour, the Old Town Mormon exhibit. It was actually really interesting. Both Rachel and Kelly grew up Mormon, and I honestly didn't know much about Mormon culture. So it was interesting for me to get to go hear more about the Mormon culture. And then we had an amazing lunch at this Mexican restaurant. I had a bean and cheese burrito. It was so incredibly delicious. And then we headed back to Rachel and Kelly's house to relax uh, before I flew home today. We watched 90 Day Fiance. We had some snacks, got in our water. It was just a really good weekend filled with really good friends. So I'm really happy that I went. Completed my first 10K, which was a huge bucket list item for me. Able to check that off my bucket list. It was really great, but I'm tired. Just traveling in general typically makes me tired. So I'm ready to head home, have some lunch. I'm also pretty hungry. We're going to make a healthy dinner tonight. I would really love to unpack, even do some laundry and just get caught up from my trip. I definitely want to spend some time with Lola because I miss her and Troy said that she was getting a little bit on the mopey side yesterday. She was really starting to miss me yesterday. So I do wanna hang out and spend some time with her and Palmer. I am feeling a little bit lightheaded because I'm hungry. So I have this orange teriyaki beef jerky that I got when I was in Atlanta and it's super, super good. So I think I'm gonna munch on some of that on the way home just to get in some protein, get in a little snack before I get home and can actually have some lunch. But overall my trip, absolutely fantastic. Wouldn't change a thing. So proud of me and Rachel for finishing the 10K. So proud of Wendy, Kelly, Cassie, and her boyfriend Zach for doing the 5K. Truly, it was just a really good heart, soul fulfilling weekend. I added my first 10K bid number to my wall of other 5Ks. This is actually the hot chocolate run I did last year and all the other 5Ks that I've completed. But this one right here, my first 10K, super, super special to me. And then I also added the medals. So this is the medal I got when I finished the 10K. It's with all of my other race medals. So like I said, this one's just extra special because it's a lot longer race and my first ever 10K. I'm gonna give the babies their special bone for today. Right now I have the smart bones wrapped in chicken. I buy these on Amazon. I find that they have the cheapest price. I'll link them for you. Palmer, you didn't even miss me. Troy says he didn't miss me, but mommy thinks you missed her. And then this one was really excited when I got home. She was just jumping around, so happy. I sure missed her. I really don't like leaving her, especially right now, but I'm just happy to be home. So for lunch, I am not very hungry. I ate that beef jerky on the way home. I actually had the rest of it, which was two servings of the beef jerky. That's why you saw that the calories and stuff were a little bit higher. So I'm not super hungry for lunch. So I'm going to have just a kind of hodgepodge lunch. I do have one of these Snack Melodies turkey and cheese packs. These are from Kroger or my fry store. These are actually really good. They're 140 calories and 10 grams of protein. So I'm going to have that and then I'm gonna have a yogurt. This is the Oiko's 11 gram cocoa almond chocolate little flip. It has coconut non-fat yogurt, honey praline almonds and dark chocolate and it just goes on top. So I think I'm just gonna do this little snacky lunch. Definitely need to hop in the shower. I need to wash my hair and I want to do some skincare and kind of gear up for a busy week now that I'm home. So I'm going to have my lunch. I will probably have some coffee after my shower. I don't know if I'll do my 35 gram protein coffee or if I'll just do 
a regular protein coffee, I don't know, we'll see, but I'm gonna go hop in the shower. I always feel just gross after being on a plane, so I definitely wanna get in the shower, get cleaned up, get my hair washed, get ready for the week, so the next time that you see me, I'll be bare face with some skincare. So I just got out of the shower, and I'm going to make up a protein coffee. I think I'm gonna chill with the dogs for a little while. I guess Lola was, pretty mopey last night. She really missed me when I was gone, so I wanna spend a little time with her. So I think I'm gonna relax on the couch for a little bit since I'm literally back to work tomorrow. It's my filming day, it's my editing day. So I'm gonna take it easy, and like I said, I'm exhausted. It felt amazing to take a shower, wash the airplane off, wash my hair from all the sweat over the weekend. So I'm going to use my Drake Up Cold Brew, as always, and I have a 32 ounce mason jar here. So I'm going to add some cold brew, and then I'm gonna do the Alani's Munchie Shakes. 20 grams of protein. I already had a Fairlife shake in my protein coffee I showed you guys at the airport. So this will be my second protein supplement of the day and will give me 20 grams of protein. So I'm gonna mix up a quick protein iced coffee and then I'm gonna relax for a little bit. So I just blow dried my hair with my Dyson air wrap and I wanna give you guys an update on my tinsel. So do you see this? how it's all curled. So when Amy was here, she put some tinsel in my hair, just a few strands from this kit that she had bought on Amazon. Well, I loved it and she had put it in with beads and I decided that I didn't want my tinsel put in with beads that I wanted it tied in. So I reached out to my hairdresser and she said she could tie in tinsel for me. So I was so excited. So I went in, she tied in all this tinsel. Well, it's not heat proof. This curling right here is because it's not heat proof. I don't think there's any left in my hair that hasn't curled. Basically, what happens with the heat is it melts. So the tinsel actually melts with heat. So I had reached out to her when I was at the airport headed to San Diego and asked her about the tinsel, told her that it had melted, and she's like, oh, that's really weird because she had put tinsel in Candace's hair, who's one of the hairdressers in her salon, and she hasn't had any issues. So I sent her a picture showing her how it curled and melted. So anyways, long story short, going through so many texts with her about the tinsel, Whatever tinsel she bought is not heat proof. So I'm actually going in tomorrow to have this tinsel removed and I bought the same tinsel Amy had because I know that it is heat proof and she's going to pull all of this tinsel out and retie in new tinsel. What a pain because now I have to go back in, have new tinsel put in. She's not gonna charge me obviously because she clearly, she said that she didn't test every color and this particular color that's in my hair is 100% not heat proof. So. Yeah, so I told her that I would just buy the tinsel Amy had because I know that it's heat proof. And even today when I used my air wrap and blow dried my hair and then ran the actual like straightener through, you can see that it even melted more. It just curls up at the end. So, oh my gosh, I'm so upset about it. So now I have to go back and she's gonna put new tinsel in and I feel bad for her because she's not gonna charge me, obviously, since it wasn't my fault that the tinsel melted and it wasn't heat proof. I just thought that it was weird that she had bought this tinsel and not tested it to see. Oh, hi, Lola. And not tested it to see if it was heat proof, and it's not. So I'm going in tomorrow for new tinsel. So if you follow me on Instagram, you will see the new tinsel. But yeah, what a complete bummer. But what I came on anyways for is to let you know that I am not having a more afternoon snack because I just took a nap. I'm so exhausted. I don't know if it's from travel, if it's from the if it's from the run, if it's a mixture of both, but I am exhausted. So it is now 3.30. Troy should be home in about an hour. I'm going to make dinner. I'm going to share dinner with you guys because I'm doing a copycat Taco Bell me Mexican pizza and I'm really excited about it. So I did not have an afternoon snack. I am having one of those lemon waters that I bought in my Costco haul. My one up order just came. So I uh, bought a whole bunch of stuff off of one up. Motivate has been the creatine that I've used for quite a while, but they stopped making it. They were putting it through a new manufacturer and she had reached out and said they didn't, she didn't know when they were going to be bringing it back, if they were going to bring it back. And I really like the Motivate one because it's unflavored. So I can just mix it in with my BCAAs, my Motivate Recovery. Speaking of Motivate Recovery, 
they also are reformulating, so that hasn't been available for a while. So I've been really utilizing One Up Nutrition a lot. So I wanted to show you what I grabbed. So the first thing I ordered, and I paid for all of this myself. I ordered all of this myself. I'm just doing a little haul with you guys. Now I do have a 20% off discount for One Up. It's the discount I used on my order. I'll put it down below for you. But I ordered two of my L-carnitine. This is my pre-workout that I love. If you saw my favorites video, I favorited this. I Love this, it's such a great pre-workout. So this time I got mimosa and sour green apple. I've loved every flavor that I've tried. This is a non-stimulant fat burner diet support energy and endurance. So this was actually recommended from my coach. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have a major update on my coach. I'll have to tell you guys about it in next Wednesday's what I eat today because we're still finishing, finishing things out. But I have an update and not a good update for my coach. So I'll share that with you guys next week, but she had recommended L-carnitine. I've been loving it. And then because Motivate hasn't had their creatine, I've been using 1UP's creatine. So th they actually call it Pure Rebuild. So this time I ordered strawberry watermelon and then I've been taking their BCAAs as well. I This is really good for post-workout recovery in place of the Motivate one because the Motivate one hasn't been available. This time I got dragon fruit margarita and I have watermelon candy. This one, you can see it's almost gone. So I use creatine post-workout on days that I go to boot camp or lift in the gym, and then I use BCAAs every single day because it really helps with recovery. And then one thing about 1UP that I love is you get to choose samples with your order. So I got the peanut cookie protein powder. I got the 1UP BCAA watermelon candy because I thought this would be good to take traveling so that if I wanted some BCAAs while traveling, I want to try their pre-workout. Even though I use the L-carnitine, I want to try their actual pre-workout. So I got the blue raspberry, another watermelon candy and blue raspberry, and then a Miami Vice pre-workout. And you get all of this for free and you get to pick your freebies with your order. So this is what I chose. My total was with my 20% discount, I saved $32.21. My discount code is Jen's WW Journey. Everything was $149.27. So I'm so excited to have L-carnitine back, my Pure Rebuild, my BCAAs, and then I'm excited to try their pre-workout and their peanut butter cookie protein. So their peanut butter cookie protein, 110 calories, 25 grams of protein, so I'm excited. So just a little one-up nutrition haul. I'll link it down below for you with that discount. I'm going to put all of this away and let's make some dinner. I'm making copycat Taco Bell Mexican pizzas. I'm so excited for these. We're going to do a healthier version. So let me show you what you'll need. You're going to need taco seasoning. I'm going to add sliced olives. Troy loves olives. I think that'll be a nice touch on the pizza. A can of refried beans guacamole or avocado, this is optional. Salsa, also optional. A low carb tortilla, cheese of your choice, tomatoes, an onion, a red bell pepper, and I'm also adding some ground beef for some extra protein. I'm going to cook that up and add it to the Mexican pizza. So the first thing I am doing is browning up that pound of ground beef. I'm going to add some taco seasoning to that, and then we are going to set that aside. I've chopped up some raw onion, red bell pepper, tomatoes. I'm gonna warm up some refried beans, and then I have my oven preheating to 350. We want to throw our tortillas in the oven for about 10 minutes to get them nice and crispy. I opened up my olives. Again, I have salsa and guac and some shredded cheese, and then we'll assemble the Mexican pizzas. So you want your tortillas nice and crispy. That's really important for the base of these Mexican pizzas. So the first thing I'm going to do is spread a quarter cup of refried beans on the bottom of the tortilla. And then we're going to top that with our ground beef. Don't forget this recipe will be on my website. So all the measurements and everything will be listed out on my website. And then we're adding all our toppings. So some fresh tomatoes, red bell pepper, onion, your olives if you are adding them, and then lastly, your cheese. 
I ran out of the thick cut cheese, so I'm going to add some shredded. Two of these Mexican pizzas are Troy's. This one and this one. This one here is mine. And then we're going to pop this under the broiler for a few minutes just until the cheese is melted. These look so good. I am getting complete Taco Bell vibes, so I'm really excited. Like I said, this one is mine. Let me go ahead and plate it up, add my toppings, and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. So here is my Mexican pizza. I added some guacamole, sour cream, and salsa to the top. This looks so good. I cannot wait to have this for dinner. Again, all of the information will be here on the screen for you. And the recipe is, as always, on my recipe website. I'll link that at the top of the description box. I'm so tired. I'm going to have some dessert and go to bed. And I'm craving a brownie. So I think I'm going to do one of my Prime Bites protein brownies. This is another thing I shared in my favorites for February. So if you missed my favorites video, I'll link it for you. I am going to do the cookies and cream protein brownie. Five grams of collagen, 19 grams of protein. And this one has 220 calories. These are so good. And all you do is just pop them in the microwave for about 10 to 15 seconds. And it makes this really good ooey decadent brownie. I have a hair tie. I'm gonna put my hair up for the night, warm this up. And that's gonna round out today's what I eat in a day. I'm sorry it wasn't the most exciting what I eat video, but I wanted to put it out for you guys since I didn't do a meal prep on Monday. I didn't want to miss another video this week. So you got to see me return from my trip and kind of how I navigated that. I did end up having three protein supplements today, including the brownie. Like I said, most days I have two protein supplements. Sometimes based out of necessity and convenience, I have to have three. Today's one of those days. I'm too tired to think about another dessert and a brownie sounded really good and why not get in some protein. So I'll link Prime Bites down below for you. I bought them off of the TikTok shop, but I'll link their website if you're interested. And thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I'm sorry that it wasn't super exciting. Next week, I will fill you in on my coach. It's a very interesting, not the best, not the most positive story. And I'll fill you guys in on the tinsel. Hopefully it's much better than this tinsel and it'll be more exciting, I promise. So thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, turn your bell on, check out the description box. Everything I shared with you today will be linked down below, all my discount codes, my Facebook group. Again, thank you for watching. Have a great Wednesday and I'll see you in Friday's weigh-in.